Lesson 1, DNA. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the structure of a DNA molecule and explain that a DNA molecule controls how amino acids join together to form proteins in a cell. In the nucleus of a cell are chromosomes, which are made up of genes. In turn, genes are made of a chemical called DNA. DNA contains instructions for making the cell and telling it what to do. These instructions are called the genetic code. The DNA tells the cell to make particular proteins. A gene is a length of DNA that gives the instructions for making a certain protein. Some proteins make up the framework that builds the cell. Other proteins are not part of the cell structure but have special jobs to do. For example, the hormone insulin is a protein that controls the level of glucose in the blood. One important group of proteins is enzymes, which control all chemical reactions in cells. A molecule of DNA is shaped like a twisted ladder. The sides of the ladder are made of a sugar called deoxyribose and phosphate groups. These are linked together alternately. Sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar and phosphate. The rungs of the ladder, which join the two sides, or strands, together, are made up of pairs of bases called adenine, thymine, cytosine and guanine. These are referred to by letter A, T, C and G. The bases are always paired in the same way adenine pairs with thymine and cytosine pairs with guanine. A always pairs with T and C always pairs with G. Please take some time to study this diagram carefully. Notice that the DNA is shaped like a twisted ladder. The sides of the ladder are made of alternating sugar and phosphate groups and that the rungs of the ladder are always paired bases C to G and A to T. The twisted ladder is shaped like a double coil. A coil is called a helix, so the DNA molecule is known as the double helix. Proteins are made of long chains of tens to hundreds of amino acids joined up in a particular order. There are about 20 different amino acids. The order of amino acids is different for each protein and it is this order that controls the structure and function of the protein. The DNA gives the order of the amino, of the amino acids. Only one side of the DNA ladder acts as a code for making proteins. This is called the coding strand. When the genetic code needs to be used in the cell, the DNA molecule unzips down the middle, exposing the bases along the coding strand. A sequence of three bases in the coding strand, such as CTA or TCT, is called a triplet. The triplet decides where one amino acid is to be put into the protein. In other words, it codes for an amino acid. 